guys welcome back to another one and today this is a very requested video and I just felt like now is the time to do it what I'm getting at is duck season is coming to an end we are in the definite late season of ducks where I'm located here in Kansas ducks have been closed for the last almost month all we have from right now is one week open in the end of January. So during that one week left, we have to know what we're doing and we have to have good tactics to squeeze in and stack them good hunts. So this video and the information in it pertains to all of my beginner waterfowl hunters. Even my one, two, and maybe three year duck hunters. It's also gonna be for my public hunters. Late season public hunting, mostly marshes and wetlands, can be really difficult, especially when the cold sticks around a while and you get thick ice. But we're gonna cover public marshes and wetlands and we're going to cover public access rivers you know so any rivers that you guys have and a lot of my midwest states just like me you guys have been frozen solid for the last two weeks with negative degree wind chills so like right now being friday this is our second day of warm weather where it's been over 40 but under about 55. if you have two to three inches of ice it's going to be there for another week before it eventually melts off so what we're going to do is we're going to head out do a little field scouting on the way to the river. We're going to check some ponds on the way, see how much ice they have, and try to find and scout the ducks on the river. Like I said, I love duck river hunts. It's one of my favorite. We have some really great greenhead river hunts down here on my river, about six miles from my house. So, up north, I know that your season has been closed. All you northern states, it closed, I don't know, a month or a few weeks ago for good. But a lot of my Midwestern states, I think California, you know, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Missouri, all these states that still have maybe a week left, this video is for all you folks. So we're going to head down there. We're going to check a roost. We're going to check a pond. We're going to check some ice. We're going to walk the river. So a lot of good information coming. Let's freaking go. So like I said, I want to... Uh, give you guys some really good tips it's important to me to keep teaching you guys a lot of you guys really appreciate it and you know what i've grown to really like giving you guys these how-to's because it is hold on you can't hear me Ugh. but like i was saying i've really grown to liking to enjoying giving you guys these how-to's it's fun trying to come up with the good ideas of what how-to's you guys need at the moment and which ones you want. So a couple days ago in the last video, I asked you guys to give me designs that you wanted on t-shirts that we will make because we I need some help with design ideas here at Ducks trying to give you guys designs that you want. You guys gave me some awesome freaking ideas. That being said, whatever how-tos that you guys need to see, Val Fridays, how-tos, tips, things that you're like, I don't get it. I don't get this side of hunting. I don't get this side of scouting. I need help with my shooting. What gun do I need? Whatever video that you want to see me do, drop a comment down below and let me know because you guys have great ideas. And without you guys commenting, I don't know what you guys want. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to read minds here. So just let me know. Don't be afraid to drop a comment. I appreciate it. And usually if it's a good one, I'm always commenting back. This is a roost where a lot of birds stay. So my first advice is to find the birds, obviously. A lot of you are going to be hunting public and public means it's usually going to be wetlands or marshes. Tip number one, I'm not going to tell you to scout because you already know that. So tip number one, after you find your ducks, always, 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 always go check for ice, especially in the late season. You know, like I just said, a lot of you guys are frozen up. A lot of your rivers, it's been so cold, are frozen up. So when you find the ducks, make sure the day before, the night before, you know, that night before the morning that you hunt, go out there see how thick the ice is because mother nature tricks us waterfowl hunters all the time and a lot of us will say man it's been in the 50s two days we're good to go no 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 you're not okay because that ice is so thick we think that 50 degrees melts quick it doesn't 50 degrees isn't very warm to melt 
you know, an inch or two or three inches of ice, it's not going to do it. So before you just go blasting out to your public marsh and wetlands, you need to go out there the day, the day before, obviously to scout, but to check for ice. That goes for rivers too. A lot of you are going to be hunting rivers, and I love duck hunting rivers. This weekend, I'm going to be on the river, I promise you. And so my second kind of tip is for river hunting. You guys that have been really cold, you need to check these rivers also for ice because a lot, like mine, completely froze over two or three times in the last two weeks. So always, no matter what you're doing, if you're hunting water right now, check for ice. Believe me, I could sit here and tell you, don't, don't, don't go hunt water, don't waste your time. You guys need to be finding ducks in the field. But I can't. I know a lot of you guys don't have access to private land. A lot of us don't. It took us a lot of years to be able to hunt the way we do on the fields that we hunt. We all need to be reminded, especially when we're starting waterfowling, when we're starting in our first year or two, because there's, I'm telling you, you guys will do it. And I don't get too flustered, but you're going to go out, you're going to sit up, and you're going to get skunked a bunch. It's just going to happen, especially on public waters. And this time of year, with this amount of ice, I'm going to push you guys. Seriously, if you haven't done it yet, you need to be hunting your rivers. The rivers can be the best hunts of your life, and I mean it. So that's what we're going to do now. I guess, you know what, we're just going to head down to the river. We're going to go check it out. I'm going to show you guys where uh, I usually hunt on the river. We're going to see how much ice is on it. Go from there. Holy cow. Look what I just found. I would hate to be the farmer whose mower hit that. Holy crap, it's a whole intake manifold, Jesus. I think I know who mows this, so I'm gonna get rid of it for him. This is why you gotta go look at your ponds, you gotta go look at your marshes and your public lands to make sure that you're not gonna get out there, shoulder your decoys half a mile, and it be locked up with ice. This is why, because you show up and it is Thick. Now this is just a normal fishery pond out here by my river place here and uh, it's thick. These ponds are completely frozen over. I'm sure that that's every bit of four inches, three inches. So that thing ain't gonna thaw out for a very long time. If you have an ice eater, let's say you have an ice eater or something to open up water, just like this here, this is a uh, bass fishing pond. This is where I come and shot a couple videos at. And uh, with that running water, you can tell how much of a difference it does make keeping it open. This is where I've came and done just a ton of my, a ton of my river duck hunts and had some really good ones. This isn't the actual spot in which we'll go see that in a minute, but this is one of the spots where I always come and scout and see if any ducks are sitting on the river we have a lot of ice and we have some slush going on but uh i'm sure a lot of your rivers are going to be like this a little cold oh there we go we have some duck action look at that he's buzzing that's freaking awesome i'm getting pumped so this video goes up friday it opens tomorrow saturday here in kansas for me i am gonna hunt my butt off on this river on public marsh, on public wetlands, giving you guys tips, how-tos while we're hunting. So what happens is up along the banks here, the ducks sit back in this brush out of the wind on top of this ice and they'll roost on this at night. Uh-oh, check it out, look at that. We even got some high-flying geese. Just following the river. Tip number three or four or whatever we're on, is going to be hiding. How do you hide down here on the rivers? And I'm going to show you what I do because our river has a bunch of it and it's just easy. It's easy, easy, especially if you have, you know, the blades or the uh, shadow grass camo on, the blonder camos. Look at that. Our river is lined, lined with this stuff. I don't know if it's actually cat. Well, I think it's bloomed cattails. So just a bunch of smaller if I'm wrong, if someone knows the name of this plant, let me know. You just literally stand in it like this, boom, and I'm right here. You just stand here or you sit on the bank with your feet in the water and you stand up and you shoot. 
What's great about the river, especially mine, is you don't have to worry about building the blind or bringing an A-frame blind. You literally just sit on the bank and this tall grass makes it extremely easy. So one reason why I love river hunting is because they're easy. It's easy setup. You don't have to create your blind. You don't have to blind in an A-frame in a tree row. And you're not laying on your back on the cold ground in a white painter suit. Late season, green heads are down in the Midwest and they love the river right now with everything being locked up. So I'm telling you guys, attack your rivers. I've done a little bit of walking on the sandbar and I have seen three ducks just on top of the water that were obviously roosting and or feeding, you know, on the river uh, that are actually, you know, staying here. So that's really good, you know. I've only been here for about 10 minutes and uh, I'm gonna check some more area down here and see if we can find some more because this really gets me excited. This is where it all started was the river. It was my first duck hunt I ever did was the river. And let me tell you, it was a good one and it just hooked me for the rest of my duck hunting life. I can remember walking this trail right here. The first time we went duck hunting, me and Wade, and uh, I had an awful gun, no waders, so I couldn't get in the water. Didn't know how to set a decoy spread to save my life. Barely knew what a decoy was. Luckily, we went with a good buddy by the name of Heath that taught me a bunch right when we started and he put us on the ducks. He was the only one that could call at the time and uh, I just remember the whole experience. It was, it's crazy thinking back and seeing what duck hunting to me has become. I get to share my life with you guys and it, sort, and it revolves around waterfowl hunting and that's just, it's so surreal for me to think back and just think about where it all started. It's cold out here, gee, Merry Christmas. So right up here is where I've had the best duck hunts down here. It's about a good 200, 300 100 yards from the truck now where we first went down. So let's see if, let's see if we got anything. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's only two ducks, but it's better than none. Well, we're gonna go check the other side. Two green heads right there, baby. One might have been a hen. I, I got so excited I couldn't even tell. I did see one with a green head. I had to get the camera on it so quick. Just like earlier I stated, it is hard to scout rivers. This is the only way to scout. If your river is big enough with sandbars or if you can walk in the woods along the edge of the river on the bank, this is about the only way to scout rivers. That being said, you have to know the general area, whether it's a mile, a half a mile area of the river, that you think they're gonna be on. <laughs> now that being said, you have to get permission to walk the farmer's grounds along the river, but you do not have to get permission to walk in the center of the river if you have sandbars like myself. So if you can get private access or public, ac public access to get in the river and you can walk alongside it, just as long as you're in the bank, and be quiet like I'm not doing. You can do just like I am. I've probably walked about a half a mile. It's gonna be about a mile walk in total, getting back to the truck, but it's worth it. I don't have a loud truck that's gonna scare them, and I can literally creep up on them and see exactly where they're at. Scouting the rivers is hard, and this is what it takes. You just have to do a little bit of walking. Someone's been having some fun here. Yep, there we are, right there. There's another one right there. Just a singlet. It's looking good, guys. They like this river. Old green heads. Man, all day, every day. All day, every day. We, uh, we're still holding quite a few specks and they're, they're still closed. Uh, I'm sick of having to watch for specks and not shoot them darn things because they're out of season right now. 
them darn specks, when you set them white spreads, they're the first one to it. They beat the snow geese, they beat the lessers and cacklers to them white spreads, and they're the first to put their feet down. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my little river scouting video and all the information about public hunting. But I hope everybody gets out, enjoys the end of this duck hunting 2018 season. I'm going to be sad once it's gone next week, but conservation snow goose season is coming, and it's coming fast, and I cannot wait. We just bought a ton more decoys, a lot of equipment coming on the way, an e-collar coming on the way. So I'm excited. Stay tuned for that stuff. Stay tuned for a bunch of great videos. I have awesome content stacked up right now. So it's going to be a great rest of the year. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that like button if you like this video. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I'll put my...